And then next, um, makeup removers. I take the whole thing, so. Okay, hello everybody. Welcome back to my channel. So the other day I got this request to show you how I pack my bag and I thought, why not? I will admit though, I am not about to go on a trip, but I just did OPR yesterday, which is um, standby reserve. So it means like I'm at the airport waiting to be called and I did a six hour shift. So I was available for three days, but I also had a day off after that with a flex day. So basically we get four flex days in a month and a flex day says in the case of basically like irregular operations and an emergency, if they need to use me, they will take my day off and then give it back to me. So I did have a flex day, so I knew there was like a, a slim chance they might use me for four days. So I did pack for four days. Since I was packed for four days and I did not get used yesterday, I did need to unpack all my stuff. And then I thought, well, actually I said I would film this video. Everything's already packed. So why don't I show you how I pack everything? So as soon as I pack this suitcase with y'all, I'm going to unpack it right after. Also, I am going to try to link any of the items that I have that are easily accessible to you, like through Amazon or whatever. So definitely like my suitcase, my J hook, my packing cubes, all of this kind of stuff. So I'll try to give you a warning about what's going to be down there. So they will be there if you wanna check any of the items out for yourself. And also if this is video content you do like to see, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel. It does mean a lot to me. I post a lot of tips, tricks, and travel secrets. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so to start off with, um, my suitcase is company issued and we do shop at the brand Travel Pro. I do know that they do have their own store on Amazon, so you can check out all of their luggage on there. I absolutely adore this luggage. The only thing I will say about this suitcase in particular is the wheels are not like full revolving and I wish they were. Um, but they have a ton of suitcases available. So if I could change one thing, that's what I would change. But other than that, it's awesome. This fits on all of the planes inside the planes as carry-ons. So this is a great standard bag where you're not going to have to check your bag unless you're on like a regional plane, basically. Um, the next thing I have um, is this J-hook right here. So it kind of looks like this. Um, this is also from Travel Pro as well. And it just clicks in right here to the top of the suitcase just like that. So it is awesome because any other bag that I do wanna carry, I can just go ahead and hang it from here, which makes it very, very convenient. Okay, so in this suitcase, it does have a front pocket. It does have a larger front pocket that goes um, like this right here. And this is great if you wanna store your laptop. So when I do carry my laptop, I do go ahead and put it right there. Obviously, as the icon can tell you, um, this one is just a really little pocket. And then it has this front pocket. Um, I don't usually keep a ton of stuff in here, but I know people that do, but I guess if you have like extra items that you do want to store in here, tons of room. And then on the back of the suitcase right here, there is another pocket right here and a ton of flight attendants always love to carry stuff in here, but I don't really use that too much. All right, so now that you have seen the bag, Let's see how to pack it. Okay, so now that the bag is open, there is a front pocket right here. And this is usually where I try to keep a lot of my toiletries. There is also a bigger pocket right in here. I don't store a ton of stuff in here, but that just goes to show you like how much room there is for storage. Um, this bag also does have two smaller side pockets right here and right here. And it also does have the straps to go ahead and um, lock all your stuff in so in case like you might feel like you've overpacked or stuff is like springing out of the suitcase you can lock those as well so to begin packing my suitcase what i like to do a lot of times is take one of my bags like this and i use it as a laundry bag so it is completely empty at the beginning of my trips because like i have said many times before I do love to work out on my layovers or I do love to explore a ton. So any kind of dirty laundry, I do my best to keep it out of my clean laundry. So I will take this and just lay it flat across the bottom. Nothing really too impressive there. The next thing that I do like to do is I do like to carry like a side satchel, um, usually pretty empty because I do have my flight attendant purse with me, but it is huge. So if I'm like trying to go explore or something, I don't want to have to carry around a big, large purse with me. So I try to take something just really small like this 
and then I will as well put it just flat onto the bottom. So far it just looks like this. So this is the laundry bag right here and then the purse. Okay, so the next thing that I like to do after that is go ahead and put my toiletries up in this pocket right in here. And organization to me is key and you're gonna realize throughout this entire packing, when you are traveling, stay as organized as possible and it will make it so much easier on you. So to begin with, my deodorizer bags. So I have talked about this in uh, my travel haul. I do love these because again, if you are putting dirty clothes back into a suitcase, I just, please keep it fresh, please keep it fresh. So I do love these, these will also be linked down below. And I do also like this brand because they do have something like this. So I can always hang up my uniform and have one of these bags on the hanger with the uniform to keep the uniform fresh as well. Especially if I'm on a multi-day trip and I don't wanna try and squeeze like two, three, four, however many uniforms in here. Very, very convenient. So start with that right there. And then next, um, makeup removers i take the whole thing so um my razor and again the stary pod i have shown y'all that as well love 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 that um it keeps the razor from getting caught onto the mesh right here so definitely recommend these and they're super super cheap so i just throw my razor in there another thing i have just like this little cole Haan patch and like in here I have uh, my toothbrush, my toothpaste, maybe like a mini mouthwash or something, I don't know. So anyways, I just throw that up there as well. Deodorant, always, always have deodorant. I probably usually carry deodorant in my purse. My makeup setting spray is probably the next thing that I do, just go ahead and throw up top and then zip that out. So for the next thing that I do like to do, this is my service apron. So obviously if you're not a flight attendant, you don't have to worry about this, but I like to keep items that I need easily accessible right up at the top zipper. So that way, as soon as I get onto the plane, I can whip those out before anybody gets up or before I throw my suitcase up and then set them behind my seat or wherever I need them to be set so I can get at them very, very easily. So for my apron, I put it up at the top of my bag. The other thing that I also stick up there is my flight attendant sweater. So this is company issued sweater, but I also, Put that at the top as well because I will get cold I'm such a freak about how cold it is on the planes and the next thing I have is my shoe bag so inside the shoe bag I do have um, my gym shoes which a lot of times I like to work out just in Converse right there but I also have um, my in-flight shoes from Aldo they're just like flats and like these things have seen hell. Like these things have been through it. I really, really, really need a new pair of these. But um, yeah, Aldo was a good, comfortable brand. I mean, I just really put them through the ringer. So my shoe bag, because of my in-flight shoes, I do like this to be at the top so I can switch out my heels from my in-flights pretty much as soon as I get onto the plane. So this is the shoe bag right where the top of the suitcase is. And then again, I just stick the sweater and the apron right on top of that. So that way, whenever I'm dragging the rollerboard, I just zip from right up here and can grab all this stuff on out of the bag. Okay, so ladies, the next item is going to be my um, cheese straightener. This thing has also been put through the absolute ringer. I especially need like a new heat resistant bag. So for this, those side pockets that I kind of showed you along the side, that's where this goes right here. <laughs> So voila, as you can see there, there's my straightener. And you can also see like, I've put a ton of stuff in here and these will scrunch up. And this suitcase really does fit a lot, especially for this being a carry-on. Okay, so this is my makeup brush holder. I did show you all this in my Amazon haul. And I will say it is so, so, so fabulous for setting on the counter and for being able to sort through my brushes and, and see exactly which one I like. It's also really, really convenient for all of my eye makeup brushes. But like I've said, I kick on the makeup. So for my larger face brushes, I can fit about three to four of them in here before like the bristles will kind of get caught when I'm trying to shut it. So as far as like larger makeup brushes go, I really just kind of recommend they stay in the makeup bag and then my smaller ones go in here. So for this, this is going to go into the opposite side pocket from where my straightener is at. So I did have to take these out really quick to fit it in here, but this is where that makeup brush container is at. So here's what we're looking like so far. Okay, so for the next thing is I actually like to travel with um, two of my Morphe palettes. I think this is actually the wrong palette. I think I grabbed the wrong one. 
Um, this one has like a ton of colors. I think it's like their boss, boss something palette, boss mood palette. But I actually have a different palette by Morphe that I like to use more. And this one is also um, like just like a contour and, and highlight powder. I also keep the plastic on my stuff. I don't know if that's weird, but again, this is the wrong palette. Um, I actually usually carry my nude one with me that has like a ton of like nude colors because if I'm in uniform, I'm pretty much rocking nudes. So anyways, um, for my two palettes that I do like to carry with me on my trips, which these are really, really convenient because of the packaging, they are really, really easy to pack like this. So I actually just set them kind of on the bottom on top of that purse that I showed you. Just like this, so they're nice and flat. But this is also another reason that I like to keep my stuff inside packing bags because God forbid that something like this break or whatever, I don't want it onto my clothes or if anything spills out or breaks, which is another reason that my toothpaste is in that um, Cole Haan bag because I don't want something to bust and then it gets on my stuff. So it, not only does it help with organizing, but it also helps with keeping your stuff really, really clean in your bag. Okay, so the next thing that I pack is this. This is my entire makeup bag that I have besides obviously the powders that I did show you. Um, this is from Victoria's Secret. My friend got it for me, which if you can't tell, I'm obsessed with cheetah print, but this thing goes everywhere with me and I do know it's large and I do know I carry way more and use way more makeup than most people, but it is what it is. So this is the next item I will put into the suitcase and I just stand it up and kind of stick it just like that. So let me give you a closer look. Okay, so closer look, I just stand it right on the edge and so it's just a little bit over but this is going to close just fine and, and this is literally not even going to even remotely need me to expand this bag and it still gives me like all this extra space right here okay so for the next thing is um, my largest packing cube which is this bad boy right here it is fairly big but i was on a three to four day trip or could possibly be on a three to four day trip plus i was on an opr so for opr you don't know where you're going to get assigned it's all going to be last minute so you don't know if you need warmer clothes or cooler clothes so i just say pack with layers like pack with things that you can completely layer up so i do have um three everyday outfits in here plus i have um, some shorts and a tank top for sleeping wear i also like to stick um socks, underwear, bras, basically my everyday wear is going to stay in one bag. I just fold up all my clothes like you would like in a stack and then set it in there and then take my bras, underwear, socks, whatever, and kind of tuck them around the back. So now I'm going to go ahead and throw this in there. <laughs> okay. So this big old space is basically where this goes and I just kind of squish it right on in there also if you don't like to fold your clothes like this um, you can always roll them and pretty much all hotels especially domestically have ironing boards and irons and stuff okay so for the next thing that I like to travel is this bag right here so in this bag specifically I like to keep gym clothes so again I like to separate my my gym clothes from my normal clothes so in here I just have um, a sports bra I have leggings, I have a tank top, I have a headband, or there might be two workout outfits in here. But anyways, I keep my workout outfits in a separate bag because again, organization. So I will throw this in here next and I'll just set it right on top like that. And the next pouch that I have is extra flight attendant stuff. So obviously if I'm packing and I'm going to work, I'm in uniform. So I'm already gonna have one pair of pantyhose, one scarf, um, my heels, my uniform, blah, blah, blah. But I do like to keep like an extra bag. So in here, like I have an extra pair of underwear. I have an extra scarf. I have an extra pair of pantyhose or two, depending on how long my trip could possibly be. So this is basically just extras to add to my uniform in case like there's too much makeup on my scarf or your pantyhose run or whatever. So then this will go in right there next. So as you can see, like these press down. So like, I don't even need to expand my suitcase. This holds so freaking much. But last but not least, for me is my hot logic. So I do like to keep my hot logic in my suitcase a lot of times or in my third bag. It kind of just depends. But again, I talked about this in my haul. I love this because it doesn't cost me any money to get a microwave or I don't have to put my food in an infested microwave, which is pretty much disgusting. So I will throw this in right on top right here 
Um, sometimes I do have another pair of shoes or a swimsuit, so I'll go ahead and like throw some sandals or a swimsuit or whatever, or some booties or something. It just all kind of depends on where I'm going or what I'm doing, anything like that. But this is pretty much, if I'm going to work, this is the standard way I am going to pack for a three or four day trip for my main suitcase bag. Obviously I do usually have a third bag with me, whether that's my flight attendant bag or a different bag. If I'm going on like a four day trip, I'm going to take more stuff. So if y'all would like to see what like that third bag, if that wasn't my flight attendant bag would look like, I don't mind shooting that video. Or if y'all do wanna see what my e-bag, my lunch cooler bag looks like, I will definitely do something like that for y'all. But for the most part, my main big bag, this is her. So I am going to go ahead and close her up now. Okay, so I wanna thank you all for joining me and again if you did like this video and you do like content like this go ahead and give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel I do post a ton of travel content especially flight attendant stuff and if you do have any packing tips for me go ahead and comment them down below I will definitely be checking them out thank you so much for joining me and have a great one y'all bye